Hyvää iltapäivää kaikille. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, I would like to use my 15 minutes uh, to discuss if it's a mission impossible to make uh, a profitable product from steel making slack and, and CO2 emissions. Uh, you, you all probably are following uh, social media and, and reading papers and, and watching TV and, and you can't avoid uh, meeting words of, of climate change and, and carbon uh, dioxide emissions and environmental problems. Uh, uh, for this topic I have good and, and bad news for you uh, and good news is that uh, coming from the engineering side that there are many many technical solutions already available uh, to solve these, these big problems but unfortunately the price of these are often too high that, that industry or investors uh, could be act activate and, and really this would happen. So to, to, to make these, um, these changes even faster we need to set regulations and, and use political tools to, to fasten the, uh, taking these processes into use in practice. Then uh, I have some homework for engineers for us engineers and, and uh, we should define the process development goals on, on our work so that the, the production price of these sustainable processes uh, already existing uh, could be minimized, uh, so the production price and, and uh, we should adapt this entrepreneurial uh, mindset uh, on, on, to our work. And we also need to understand the big picture and the whole value chain and life cycle of, the, of these processes and products. And uh, it's important, important that we are not praise, uh, removing one problem and creating several others instead. This is important always to remember. Okay, so our case, uh, Axe to PCC technology. What it means? Uh, I have here pictures and, and then uh, to explain. So our raw materials, materials is, is steel slag, so waste of steel making and we use uh, salmiac water solution, a solvent uh, to, to uh, extract calcium from the steel slag and then we filter it uh, to separate the solid phase and liquid phase and then we just bubble carbon dioxide, for example, from flue gases, and as a result, uh, result we get synthetic limestone powder, uh, precipitated calcium carbonates, that's the PCC abbreviation, uh, you see it in, in the below. So we start something from something uh, dirty, and, and then CO2 emission combined, then something that, that is clean and white and can, can be sold. So, it sounds very easy, like when I say it, but there has been many challenges, and, but also I see lots of opportunities in this, making this profitable. Uh, one big challenge, but also an opportunity, uh, is of course the global CO2 emissions. And last year, humankind produced uh, 37 billion tons of uh, CO2. That's, that's a big, big amount of CO2 emissions. And Finland produced... Uh, I would say only <laughs> a lot of uh, 55 million tons of CO2. And if we fill a balloon with this global CO2, it would be 34 kilometers in diameter. It's a big 1st uh, uh, of May balloon to blow. Uh, CO2 is our raw material for X to PCC, which is good, but, but today I would like to discuss can we, can we utilize this in our process and, and solve this CO2 problem globally. Good, good news for us is also that the world needs limestone cont continuously and, and different industries are using this and if we take all the limestone mining annually it's, it's a cube of uh, two kilometers in size. It's a big amount of limestone every year. And this is mined and used and then it uh, it's uh, like ends to waste or somewhere, but it, it's not really a li linear eco uh, circular economy, it's linear economy, and that's where we come, come to the picture. Further on this, there's a uh, huge need of 
uh, fine powders of limestone in the world, different industries needed, for example, pulp and paper, paint, cement, plastic industries, they need this powder. And there's two uh, products, ground calcium carbonate, so we just grind the limestone, or it can also be uh, done synthetically, so precipitating uh, uh, the, the calcium as a precipitated calcium carbonate, PCC. The ground cal calcium carbonate need is more than 90 million tons per year. PCC need is uh, f uh, over 20 million tons. Those are predictions for next year. And the question is now that would it be possible to make these from the steel slag and, and CO2 emissions? Steel making, yes, that, that's the, uh, uh, the producer of the slag. And annually, typically there's something like 60, uh, 1,600 million tons of slag uh, steel produced. And uh, as a scale, I have Empire State Building there, that, that, that little needle. And if you have been there, it's a massive building. And the annual steel production is it's also a big cube. When we are making the steel, uh, we produce the, the residue or the slack, the residue from, from steel making. And that's also a massive amount of 130 million tons every year. And the price of this slack, that's, this is our raw material, it depends on the location. At many countries, in the world, we would be paid for take, taking this because, uh, for example, in Japan, uh, uh, it's a country on islands and land, landfilling is not an option it's, or it's really expensive. So that's a good case for us. But for example, in Finland, uh, we need to pay roughly 10 euros per ton to, to get, it, get it to our, our process. OK, we take the steel slack. Uh, and, and then we built our Altos uh, X to PCC plant there, and we are able to produce 70 million tons of PCC from this this waste material. And also, when we do this, we we will use 31 million tons of CO2 from flue gases, for example. But the price of this CO2 at the moment is very unclear. Uh, yeah. The, the carbon tax is uh, a carbon dioxide tax is going up, skyrocketing at the moment, and it seems that at some point we would be paid for for using this CO2, which is very good for the business. Then we need to have the solvent chemical, uh, ammonium chloride, and, and in some locations that could be available as a side product, uh, which is very good. But if we need to buy it, then it's hundred to three hundred and fifty euros per ton, which is a a significant cost element. And, and then the, the PCC, uh, which we could produce every year, the value of this depends on the quality that we are making, uh, typically from 100 to 300 euros per ton. And if you multiply with 70 million tons, it, cr it creates a market value between 7 to 21 billion, billion uh, euros per year. It's quite a massive market value, I would say. We are also producing, the, uh, as a side product, the residual slack. We are decreasing the amount of slack. And uh, of course, landfilling is one option, but it's really expensive, and it contains valuable elements. So there we are searching for, for uh, other uses for that. So for example, uh, cement additive or some, some, some other, other uses is searched for. And then we have the 70 million tons of PCC. Where, where can we sell it? And the first question when you uh, uh, try to make business is the production price of your, uh, your, your, your product. And it would be really nice to have the price something like 50 to 70 uh, euros per ton, because it has to be smaller than the price that we, when we, we sell it. There has to be a margin. And uh, the most preferable market is the PCC markets, and the size of them uh, is roughly 23 uh, million tons uh, predicted for next year. And if we have an like average uh, grade PCC, the value would be 200 euros per ton, and this would create a market value of 4.6 billion euros annually. 
Then there's some left over, uh, like 47 million tons PCC still to sell, and then there's the ground CCC markets available. Maybe the price could be 100 euros per ton, and this would create a business of uh, 4.7 billion euros annually. And our pro uh, product is it's much more pure than, than, than the ground CCC, which is very good. Of course, uh, last option is, is to recycle. Uh, one of the options is to recycle calcium back to steel making, which needs 109 million tons of uh, limestone. We are not able to replace fully, but, but more than 60% of that. But it's a bit challenging because usually this limestone price is quite low, and the price that we can for pro have production, these are very close, so it's, it's not a uh, it's very challenging to, to make this happen. Okay, then as a summary, what is our impact of, of, of this technology? Uh, from annual global steel slack, we could produce 70 million tons of PCC and replace all PCC need in the world and, and cover more than 50% of the ground calcium carbonate markets. Or we could choose to recycle more than 60% of the steel making calcium back to, uh, back to processing. Uh, but for the CO2 emissions, unfortunately, this problem with steel slack, slack we are not able to solve. We can only capture the share of Finland of, on the emissions less than one per mil. But I like to think that if this is a Finnish technology and if we take this to the outside of Finland, uh, we are able to. Uh, take the emissions of Finland with this technology. So that's one way to put it. And one important thing is that we could create a significant circular economic case uh, with, with this, this process. Uh, the world is not ready yet. There are still challenges. And of course, one of them is the chemical cost. That's the, one of the bottlenecks at the moment. And uh, we are trying to find an affordable source for it. And, and some industries have has this as a side product. So that would be a perfect case for us. But of course, we want to minimize the, the losses of the chemical to make it more, even more feasible. And we are continuously working on the increase of the process performance. So we want to make more PCC per ton of slack. So the reduce of the residual slack amount, but also make it more profitable. And currently we can uh, recover roughly 60% of the calcium in, in the steel, steel slack. And, and we are also studying options for residual slack uh, use. That's a very active area and will be more active even in the future. And also with our partners, we are developing a wash water uh, uh, treatment process because we don't want to make, make uh, solve one problem and then, then, then create additional problems through that. Uh, for future, uh, well, we started with the uh, laboratory scale work, so roughly half a liter reactor, and, and that's a very important part of our work still. Uh, we launched the pilot in uh, 2014, and then that, this was the uh, one that we won the prize in 2015. And at the moment, we are preparing an EIT raw materials upscaling project for next four years. And with this, we aim to raise the technology to industrial demonstration scale. And, and we believe that once we have done this, uh, then it's much easier to get industry investing on a full-size plant and, and get this uh, then on the markets. OK, thank you. And uh, I would like to still... Uh, Thank, thank the P X to PCC team, uh, the SPI VPs, Papanu Kuasman and Mohamed Owaisman, my doctoral student at the moment, and Alto Innovation Services, are, they are doing very good work. And, and the list would, be, would continue long, but, but thank you all, and also thanks for the partners believing in us and being on there on, on all the way. Thank you. <laughs>